Dar Darth, I think you've it. clearly pushed this guy into a corner. By the way, your your voice is like fucking five octaves lower than normal. Are you sick or are you just on a different oh, device oh, or something? No, no. You cut out, sir. Can everyone else hear him or did he did he just die for me? Oh no, he definitely died. Yeah, he cut out. Oh, there. That's that's the standard Darth voice. He must have two mics or something. Um, so Darth, I didn't want to cut you off if you want to keep going with that guy. Um, but uh, Avi wants to talk to you about coronavirus. He heard some of your sure. statements. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, you doing, Darth? I'm fine. So I heard you um, say certain things about coronavirus, specifically about how it's, uh, the comparison to the flu is in, uh, not apt because the way they're estimating the case fatality ratio for the flu involves the individuals who are uh, sent back from the hospital or not uh, admitting to the hospital because they had minor symptoms. And if we accounted for that, we, the, the uh, mortality rate would actually be a lot higher for the flu. Is that accurate? No, my position is they're calculating the death ratio based upon an extrapolation of tens of millions of people, which is an extrapolation. They don't, they don't know how many people, people sure. have been infected. Sure. So let's say we get around that and just look at the number of people who are who die who are said to have died from the flu. And? And then we compare that to the number of people who are said to have died from the coronavirus. And? And if we break that down by week, um, say we do that in New York State, we see that the deaths, the weekly death, deaths for coronavirus is far, far greater, not only greater than the flu, but in the last week, uh, day, every day, it's been greater. It's been more than double the New York City average total deaths for all causes each day. Um, yeah. But you have to you, you have to do this on a long term thing, not short term. Sure, but the issue is, yeah, I, I agree. Um, but even so, like, what what would well, what would your standard be? What would your standard for long term be? Uh, to be, I just want to set a goal. I would, I, like would what, I would want. I, well, first of all, we already know now that the 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 government is cooking the books. They're taking anybody who tests positive for the coronavirus who simply dies. They're being recorded all over the country. Um, uh, there's a Michigan senator who was caught with documents where he's being instructed um, to promote that anyone who tests positive coronavirus and dies, that they're to be listed as a, being the death from coronavirus. So I want to say a few things about that, actually. Um, so... <clears throat> One thing I'll say is that um, there is no death, cause of death reporting that happens uh, impeccably. There are always certain things that don't happen perfectly as they do with the flu. But what I would say is that when someone is thought to die um, from the flu, if someone dies from like cardiomyopathy or ischemic heart disease or even a stroke and they have a flu, um, if it's thought to exacerbate the condition at all, that also goes there even for the flu. In many ways, that wouldn't actually be a symmetry break. Have, have, have all of the stats so far been wildly wrong in many areas? For example, all of the stats coming from China, have they been wrong and false? Well, I'm sure you would agree, yes. Uh, all of the projections, have they been right? No, they haven't. Well, I, I'm not looking at projections. I'm, I'm just looking at what we already know. I'm looking at what, I'm just looking at the total death counts. Um, and I'm looking at it for the flu, and I'm looking at so, it for so then, the virus. So then what you're saying is that we really don't know what the, the cause of death is, then, right? Right. Well, no. Well, we, I'm saying it's – it, well, my position – okay, well, it depends what you mean by no. Well, but how are we going to know when I'm, they write down my, the cause wait, of death is the coronavirus? coronavirus. Yeah, so how are we going to know if they write down it's a coronavirus death that was actually so that's, a that's not what that's not what they write down. The way cause of death reporting works is – actually, I can link to you how it works. There's a – um, there's an immediate cause of death and then there are contributing causes. So it's not just, it's not a dichotomy uh, or, or a one thing gets put in the slot where cause of death is either cardiomyopathy or coronavirus or sepsis or influenza. It's, they all get put down. So the flu would get put down 
as a contributing factor for a heart attack. That happens just as well. So all I'm saying is that it, it, what is being reported is either the immediate cause or a, a, what is thought to be a contributing cause. And that's happening for both the coronavirus and the flu. That's not going to be a symmetry breaker in the reporting. Do you, do you, do you trust the stats and the, uh, the prognosis and the predictions coming out of Fauci's mouth? I'm not, I'm not even talking about that. I'm well, he's the, he's the head of the government dealing with this. I, I understand, I, I, but I'm not talking about that. I'm just, I, I'm okay. just, all I'm saying is just not forgetting any projections, forgetting anything that we're looking at in the future, just looking at the way this is being reported for both the flu and the coronavirus, and just looking at the total deaths. The total deaths for New York, um, New York City, right now are more than double the average expected total deaths, which doesn't even have a lot of crazy variability. Yeah, how many of those people have pre-existing conditions? I'm sure a lot of them do, but the point here is yeah, even- I was just reading an article that, that um, maybe you have some stats that can correct this, but that in the United States, that only 150 people have died from the coronavirus that did not have serious pre-existing conditions. I can look into that, but what I, I what, what I can say so is what's your Do you think the coronavirus is is vastly more deadly than the flu? Ab absolutely, um, and I'll tell you why. Um, because when we look at the total mortality, the total mortality is more than double the average expected for over, New York over, City, over, and well, even we've only been dealing over with, for a few yeah months, over the months. over the last yeah. over the last yeah. Yeah. over we'll the last see, week. and we'll have to see over the course of the year, sure. not just a couple. Sure, months. but but all I'm saying is over certainly over that last week, disease substitution doesn't explain that disease yeah. misclassification. Well, we have, well, we have, yeah, we have different death rates in different countries and different locales. The death rate is entirely different in Italy than it is here. Sure, but I, you would agree. But just to be clear, you would still agree. I, 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 yeah, you I, just, I just I don't I don't see any con convincing data yet that the coronavirus is overwhelmingly more deadly than the flu. Okay, I think what, what would we're find, what we're finding out is is that the coronavirus is very deadly for those who have serious pre-existing conditions. Well, that can still be true, and it do you can still think, be true. Do you think, do you, do you, well, do you think do you think that the coronavirus is any more deadly? to people that don't have pre-existing conditions versus people who get the flu and don't have pre-existing conditions? Yeah, I, I, I do actually. Um, okay. And I do have ICU data actually, um, if I could find it, that does show that. So if what, they compare- what, what, the is your, in, what is your branch of medicine? I did a year of internal medicine um, and then I went on to clinical research in dermatology. Okay, so you're a dermatologist. I'm not. I'm not a dermatologist as of yet. I've mentioned dermatology. What, I'm what are you, a what physician. Are you doing, in, right, doing, right. What are you doing right now? Right now, I'm doing clinical research in dermatology. Although I may be repurposed and taking care of coronavirus patients. So you're, so not, you're practicing not practicing medicine. medicine. Yes, I am practicing medicine. Oh, you oh, said you're doing research. research. Yes, clinical research. Are you? You, have, are you, you practice you, medicine are in are within you, the confines of. Okay, are you seeing yes. patients and treating them? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm just looking for the um, ICU data. So basically there's data from ICU admissions for people who have both the flu and people who have the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And they were admitted to the ICU for flu versus coronavirus. And even with people who were young and healthy, um, they ended up, actually, let me see. I think this is it. Um, <clears throat> uh, any very severe comorbidities for the no category for patients with viral pneumonia, non-COVID-19, a uh, percentage that died in critical care for those who did not have severe comorbidities was 19.4%. And for pe people who did not have any severe comorbidities, um, who died in critical care uh, with confirmed COVID-19 was 47.6%. Uh, where are you reading from? Yeah, I'll post it in general. All that, all that I know is I, I'm reading various articles coming off of news sources of where the stats are constantly changing. Okay. I understand. Um, I could find so, you the so story. I have a, 
I have a lot of skepticism with the crap that we're, we're getting out from, from the government stats. We were, we were told that we were going to have um, a death toll uh, of over a hundred thousand. Are we even seeing that? No, we're not even coming close to that. Right. Oh, he, Fauci, Fauci, regardless, Fauci, um, Fauci, Fauci told, told us in the beginning that this was going to be trivial. And then he was predicting millions of people would die. Then he reduced it down to 200,000. Now it's, then, the, then it was reduced to 100,000. Well, regardless of all of that, I'm, I'm not basing so anything on Texas. Okay, well, the, 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 the point This the is point data is, that's already happened. Right, but the point is we're going to have to do this over a year, not just over a couple of months. Right, but this is this is an even be in total nationwide, not just in a particular locale. Because yeah, well, this is because there's a spike of deaths in New York City. It could have a higher death rate than the flu. Uh, than in other areas, we don't have that. Where the flu is far more deadly in certain lo geographical locations. Yeah, I so, think this so study wasn't in New York. This wasn't. I don't yeah. think this so was in New York. Have, no. Might have. Yeah, we might have a higher death, a significantly higher death rate in New York because of maybe some unique geographical considerations. But when we look at the geographical stats for the nation as a whole, that's going to be an entirely different matter. Okay? Let's Just say like, this study was on death rate. Well, let me ask you this way. Do you think that the death rate for the coronavirus in the United States is the same death rate as it is in Italy? No, I, I agree that there's very, oh, why, 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 why is there a why? difference in the death rate? Yeah, there could be several reasons for the difference in the well, why, 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 one why reason. The number, one reason. You know, the number one reason why. Yeah, what one reason could be that they have an elderly population. Another reason could be that they are more. Their culture is different. They're more into they. Um, okay. They, All, right. All they, right. They. Another reason could so, be they're so merely so, citing the stats from from a a small geographical location that may have its own unique um, parameters is not That's enough to tell me over nationwide and worldwide what the actual uh sure. the, uh, and let's say this study the, and let's say we have a study i understand let's say we have a study that is representative so, so, let's say we, yeah, have well, a study. we don't have that yet we're gonna have, we're gonna have well to wait, wait a minute i'm not this out. study isn't i don't think the study is from new york um no the I'm point is simply this is you're telling me what the death rate is just because of new york well i could say no i'm not no wait wait, wait. that's not true side. hold on that's not true I, the, the data i just gave Where you you I see you admissions. I don't believe that's from New York. I'm, let me find you that study, but I, I'm pretty sure that is not from New York. Okay, fine. So well, you know, you know what you 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 think that it's far more lethal than the flu. I think it's I think it's on par with the flu. Earlier, it seemed to be that it was less. Now it seems to be more on par, especially with the spike of deaths in New York. But that may be specific to certain factors that in New York, just like we have have in Italy. What well, we're only going to be able to know. Uh, more of this a year on out when this is all done and over with what can i just ask you what um i mean i'm, I'm gonna get the study for you and tell you which geographic area is from but can i just give you can i just get a goalpost on what would change your mind um like specific criteria of what would change your mind i want to i want to see the law the long-term yearly stats rather than the week by week month or just simply focusing on one a small geographical area like New York. Okay. Um, and what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing is a lot of the information what we're getting from the CDC um, has been wrong to begin with, and they keep on they keep on changing, you know, their conclusions and their prognosis. So, so I, it's I, not that it's, I, not, it's that not that I think the coronavirus is trivial at all. I think it's a very serious problem. Um, uh, up until about a week ago, it seemed that it wasn't as deadly as the flu in terms of large numbers, but apparently it's, it's, it's a, it, as lethal, um, for people who have serious pre-existing medical conditions. conditions. But, so what I'm giving talking, you what, but what I've been talking about is people who don't have pre-existing medical conditions. It's just like getting a, you know, a, a bad cold or even maybe a mild flu. The real issue is people who get it with serious pre-existing medical conditions. Okay, so the data I have here is um, from uh, critical care units in England, Wales, Northern Ireland, uh, with confirmed COVID-19 uh, or confirmed... Over what uh, period, of period of time? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll get it for you. Um, let's see. Well, it's not going to be a year because COVID wasn't around for a year. So if yeah, that's your well, standard, I, I don't think we're, we're only going to be able to make a really good yeah. evaluation of the stats. Why do I hear my sexy voice? 
okay, a year on out. Okay, I'm, I'm still of the same basic opinion that I do not think that the coronavirus is vastly more deadly on average for people who are infected with the coronavirus. It may be on par or even slightly more lethal now with the new stats, especially with the stats in New York City, with people who have serious pre-existing conditions. The article that I just read that we only have in the United States, and I'm willing for somebody to, I got that at the Gateway Pundit, that we only have around 150 people in the country who died from the coronavirus who did not have serious pre-existing conditions, okay? So if somebody wants to- Highly skeptical of that, I can look into that if you want me to. Oh, uh, sure, great. Um, I do want to give you this other piece of information because it's not just from New York. Um, <clears throat> so here is the PDF I am giving from, here's a PDF I'm getting from, let's see. Um, could the, could, um, let me ask you a simple question. Could the large number of deaths that spiked in the last few weeks, could it have been significantly contributed due to the fact that we have a large um, Asian population or ch population of Chinese that travel to and from China? <clears throat> if you mean in terms of them um, giving us the, well, look, I think if we close the that, borders do down. You think, do, you, do you think that that could be a significant factor? Well, they trans, I mean, that it came from China. So surely, that, I mean, uh, well, we, well, it all we, came from China, but I'm pointing, I'm, I'm trying to point out that like in Italy, we have a, 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 excuse me, a large spike in deaths. Are you aware of the fact that there's a large Chinese tourist population and they refuse to shut their borders? Okay. Now in New York, what we have in New York and we have on the, on the West Coast, we have certain geographical locations where there's a high density of um, Chinese tourists coming and going. That could that have, have a significant yeah. um, impact well, by the, such a large spike of deaths, deaths in those in local those geographic sure, areas. Sure, sure. Like but this, so now. here's the, the study I'm giving you is is not just looking at total deaths. It's looking at like okay, if you get COVID versus if you get flu, and this is not just from New York. This is from England, Wales, Northern Ireland. If you get COVID versus if you get flu, for people who have no pre-existing conditions, who is more likely to die if you are from, admitted from to the England and Wales, England, Wales, and Ireland. North Ireland, okay. North Ireland. And where is this coming from? I posted it in, um, I'll post the PDF, oh, I guess. Who, yeah, I posted it in general. This is from the, here's the PDF. This is from um, the ICNARC. Um, what is the weforum.org? The, we, we the what? You posted, uh, Aziz posted something from the weforum, although you didn't post that. I, I don't know what. What he, okay. someone else is posting, but I, I posted a PDF. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll know a year after now, now. Uh, whose conclusions are correct. So are you just, just to be clear, are you taking an agnostic position on this or are you taking like a positive position? That no, gonna... no. A week or two ago, I was of the, the view that the coronavirus was less deadly than the flu. But then when we had the spiking in New York, um, it seems to be approaching the same death levels as, as the flu. Okay. Um, but, and by approaching but, but the same, but that's, but that spike, that spike in deaths, um, may, may be, um, vastly increased because of New York city's, uh, geographical parameters, not so much be purely of the, of the, the nature of the virus itself. Sure. Just but like, wouldn't just those, like we have in Italy. Yeah. But wouldn't those geographical parameters also affect the flu? Um, not, not necessarily because, um, what we have is the, the issue with, with the, the, the flu is sp spread by all sorts of different ethnic groups initially, right? Whereas it, the, the coronavirus is specifically a Chinese virus. Okay. okay. That's, why, That's why, isn't it interesting? We're seeing a massive spike in deaths in an area of the country where there's a huge Chinese population as well as in Northern Italy, where there's also a huge contingent of Chinese tourists and the, the, the Italians did not shut off their borders to the Chinese tourism because they feared being called racist. So, so I, I, I personally to... believe, and I'm willing to be shown wrong, you know, when the year is up, when they do all the studies, um, I, I believe that that's why we're seeing such a large spike in the deaths here in New York City and not elsewhere in the country. 
why aren't we seeing the spike of deaths uh, in the same rate that we do in New York State that we have in other places of the country? Yeah, there could be several things for that. I mean, one could be geographic um, issues. The geographic other thing and be a large Chinese <laughs> contingent. <laughs> Yeah. The, well, the other things is the other things are that um, we can also be temporally ahead of other states. Um, by that I mean that we are we're temporally ahead of the curve, so that if you count like by time of tenth infection or whatnot, we can be ahead. I'm just looking at. Can you just give me your source? Because I'm so I've been giving you um I've been giving you several <laughs> sources. Now. Can we just mute on whoever's coughing real quick? Yeah, I've been reading a lot of the articles and the stats that they've been getting um, from various government uh, organizations, including the World Health Organization. Do you think the World Health Organization is to be trusted? Well, I don't think any anything is to be trusted. I, I look at the data and I look at the okay. methodology right. and I yeah. come to yeah. and I come to my conclusions of what is reasonable and not okay, reasonable. Fine. All right, fine. Um, that's that's well, we'll how see. I operate. I don't <laughs> take any. Into All right, please can we get a mute on this guy? Um, so I presented you two studies. I can, I can give you more reasons to think, um, sorry, who is it you're asking for a mute on? Um, you know, the guy that was like, uh, yeah, whatever the so guy. Yeah. Uh, Let's say we could, we could say hypothetically, I don't know who um, that is. The coronavirus is the guy we were just talking to before I for people of preexisting conditions, but in a general population, it's, it's just not more deadly. It's just, it may be slightly more deadly than the flu. Um, given people's medical pre-existing conditions, and in addition, unique geographical uh, factors, such as New York and Italy. Sure. I, I think that the point of the data that I'm giving you is that it, it, it was an analysis including people without okay. pre-existing conditions. Okay, so we're still, early, so we're we're still, still early on in evaluating the, the nature of the coronavirus. Okay, so if, you're, if your position is agnosticism then, if you're just no, going to say... No, I, no, no. I didn't, that isn't my position. I said, but we're still early on. So do you think you can be absolutely definitive right now? No, I'm not claiming abso- to be absolutely okay. definitive. I mean, what I'm saying I mean, is that I, I, based I, on... Uh, yeah, but what I, I am I, saying... Sure, but what I am saying is that based on everything I've seen and based on um, my training in interpreting data and reading publications, reading studies, um, I think the arguments uh, for downplaying it are unfounded. And I do think that there's two reasons. I'm not saying saying you. I'm not saying – I'm not accusing you. Um, I'm just saying that I do – here's what I think. Based on everything I've seen, based on the data I've seen and my training in interpreting the data, I do think that this is a virus so far based on it. And yes, this could change in data can always change, but the currently available data, I believe indicates that it is more dangerous for the flu, both for people who have and do not have pre-existing conditions. Uh, nationwide, or do you mean just in, in New York state? Cause that's where we're seeing the spike of deaths. Based, the data I've, I have showing that analysis was from England, Wales, and North Ireland. Oh, well, I, well, I'm just, I'm not commenting about worldwide. I'm, I, but my only comments were restricted to the United States. Okay. If we're just talking about the United States, then um, the best I, what I can do is like, I mean, here's the, here's the issue, Darth. The issue is that we're dealing with a virus that is, if we're talking about the United States, it's still an exponential spread. We're still seeing an exponential increase in the death in the, in the United States. No, they're, they're, and we've, already, the, we've already reached a peak. It's already peaked in New York State. No, I said in the United States, not New York State. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, well we, we're so, not, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not, it's not growing exponentially in the country. Well, if it is, if the rich, well, show, show, me, show, show me how it's, it's, it's growing exponentially. Well, by definition, maybe, it, maybe, by definition, maybe it really, really um, exponentially, exponentially, or exponentially or yeah. But it means the current okay. death. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it means the current death is a is a proportionally greater function. By, it means so if today's deaths are proportionally as a function uh, greater yeah, than exponentially the previous. Is not the same thing as arithmetically. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the rate. Right. No, I didn't say total deaths. The rate it, that okay. has to be exponential. All right, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you a question. Given your so-called medical expertise. Um, how many how many people do you think we're going to see uh, dead by the end of the year or by, or by the summer? Do you think we're going to have more than twenty thousand people dead uh, by 000, the end of the 000. by the end of the twenty thousand? Yes, I, I do think there will be more okay. than twenty thousand. Yeah. So that's that's flu territory. 
Well, I don't know if it's flu territory. It could twenty flu more than twenty thousand. Twenty thousand around twenty thousand. Wait, I didn't say wait, Darth. I didn't say that it was going to be around twenty thousand. Hey, I said it was, gonna, you asked me if it was going to be gonna have thirty. Do you think we're going to have thirty thousand or forty thousand people dead from the coronavirus in the United States? I think you'll have more than that. Yes. Okay. What's your number? Because I'm going to run over this. Okay. Um, as what's of now, I about? think sure. So as of now, by so what's your t- by August? Um, by August, I think we'll have approximately. Um, I think it will be approximately sixty thousand by August. So you can put that number down and time frame. Sixty thousand in the United States by, by August. Yep. Sixty sixty thousand. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to remember this. Yep, USA sixty thousand by August. Yes. Um, and then I'm, and it gets, always gets harder. Yep. So right now I'm looking, I, I Googled, it says right now we have 18,000, uh, dead. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you think that the number of deaths is going to triple in the United States? We've already seen the number of deaths. By August. And and on, on what grounds? Yeah. So I bait. Yeah. So that's just, do you, that is, do you, again, do you, are you in New York? Are you in, are you in New York? I'm in New York. Yeah. Okay. Have you have been, you've been following the news where the, uh, the, the deaths have already peaked. They're starting yeah. to go down. No, I understand. Um, okay. they've only, yeah. well, we, we, well, hold on. I'll just say a few things about, about that. So yes, I do expect the, the peak to happen. If not already happened. Okay. Um, okay. It, the, the, we are in our first day of a lower amount of deaths than the previous day. Uh, it, we're at 777 deaths. Um, yesterday it was 799 mm-hmm. deaths. Well, right now there's we'll 18,763 hopefully... 18, deaths in the United States. So you believe that there's going to be um, 40, 41, 42,000 more deaths in the United States by August. So, so mm-hmm. we're, we're already in the middle of April. Yeah. Okay, so we got we got June, July. Are you saying it? Wait, Jones, just August? real quick. I'll, I'll answer at, your question. At the beginning or end of August? Um, at the beginning, at, uh, at, by August, I believe it's yeah, big, early August. Early okay, August. so okay, so we got May, June, July. Okay, so in three months, you think we're going to have forty thousand more deaths? Yeah, approximately. Okay, so so you think that there's going to be uh, people are going to be even more contagious given the warm weather? Okay. No, I that's it's. I think it'll be in spite of that. Um, and the okay. reason I think okay. that is because the way the the way the curves work, the curves are not symmetrical. The rise and fall of pandemics, um, they're not a symmetrical. Uh, de- if you yeah. were to so and, if you were to graph were the government prognoses about the uh, the 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 deaths where where is it wrong? Were they wrong? I think they were, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, there were yeah. IHME yeah. They models. Were wrong. They were wrong. Sure. They were really, well, you're they asking were me for my prediction. Time. You're not asking, I mean. Well, I know, I know that, but the, yeah. All right. So yeah. So you're, you're telling me your prediction, you know, because you're a doctor. Okay. And, and obviously that's not anything to be disparaged, but at the same time, we have a cadre of doctors working for the CDC and they, they've made numerous um, uh, prognoses that they're flat wrong about, especially when they initially said, "Oh, it's going to be," and you know, Fauci. You know who Fauci is, right? right? I know who Fauci is. Yeah, he's he's the head honcho over there, right? And he said, "Oh, this is not going to be anything." Then it then it spiked. Then he says, "Oh, we're going to have millions dead." Then he says, "Then he and 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 remember, this is this is his precise field. This is not your field. Your field is dermatology. His field is infectious diseases." Okay, and he's the head. I forget what the title of the uh, the subdivision of the CDC that, that he's in, but he's the head guy. He's on there every day with Trump. Trump. He Darth, was initially get, saying he was initially saying we were going to have millions dead. Can I get a prediction okay, from no. you? Do you have a prediction? No, I I, I don't think that we'll see. Um, I don't think that we'll see it's a ballpark. More than, like, where do you think uh, the deaths are going to be? I don't, I don't think we'll see more than 30,000. I think. It'll okay. Be so let's say, okay. So let's put, so you say no more than 30,000 by August. Yeah. Yeah. I say, yeah. I say around 60,000 by August, definitely more than 30,000. I don't, I don't believe that. And, okay. So let's, let's just lock that in. Okay. Yeah. Do you, by the way, and, and, so I've provided you. If, if Fauci, uh, if Fauci does this for a living, 
He's the number one doctor at the CDC in the department that deals with infectious diseases. If this is his area of expertise, and he's the head of this in the United States, and he's making prognosis about the severity of it, saying, oh, it's not going to be anything that serious. And then it turns out to be serious. And then he states, we're going to see millions of dead. And then he says, oh, no, we're just going to see hundreds, thousands of dead. If this is a guy who does it for a living, he has all of the government stats and he's wrong time and time again. Why should I trust your evaluation when this isn't even your field? Because in by August I'm going to be right and you're going to be wrong. Darcy. Well, that well that's an, that, that's, that's entirely <laughs> different. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, okay. but, okay. This, yeah. So yes. what I'm saying is, this is Fauci's field. This is what he has been doing his whole career. Yeah, I understand. I'm the, so I'll say a couple of things about that. Yeah. Disorder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, the I, point I, is, he's the he, he he he. This is what he does for a living. You don't do it for a living, and he's been wrong time and time again. Okay, that's so, true then, here, but that, here's then, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Why should I have confidence yeah. in what you're saying? Okay, sure, sure. So I have made it my sort of life goal, despite um, despite my field being dermatology. I've made it kind of my life goal to to learn how to evaluate data, learn how to evaluate studies. And so is he. Yeah, he is. Okay, that's true. He is too. Yeah. And, 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 and specifically dealing with infectious disorder, disorder. disorders. Yep. I agree. On a re- that's true. Nationwide basis. That's true. And he's been wrong time and time and time the again. The other thing I'll, I'll say is that um, the... So I should trust your expertise rather than his. Well, it's not, I'm not asking you to trust my expertise. That's not yes, what I'm you are. Yes, you are. Okay. That was a lot, that was a lot of BS. You well, you just well, giving me you started giving me all your credentials, and then you oh you do these studies and all this kind of stuff. You are asking me to trust your expertise. Okay, so then let me step back and the, if that's so that, that was a wait, dis- wait, that was on, a response. Wait, wait, Darth, Darth. Let me then let me take a step back. If that's the impression I'm getting, then I'm sorry. Um, let me take no, a step back. I don't, that's what you, you were directly indicating that you have a because you, you're a medical doctor and you you know you're used to looking at stats. Therefore, I should trust your expect. Uh, okay, your that's not what I meant. Expertise. Okay, but that's that's oh, not that's what exactly I. That's what you were what trying, you were trying to convey. Stop. Well, trying well, to well, 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 Darth. No, that's not. I, I, anyone who looks, anyone who knows me knows that I always try to do the opposite of this. Um, and you can ask anyone here. No, you were um, telling so, me because you had a greater because you're a doctor and you're familiar with the stats that you had a greater degree of expertise on this area, and I should trust, trust. your opinion and your prognosis on this. So I do have a greater um, expertise on this than the average Good. person. So I, I should, probably I don't should, have I it than Fauci, but, that, but wait, 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 wait just a second, Darth. Just, just Darth, Darth, just a second, Darth. Please, please. I, I don't. I want to make it clear. I don't want. I don't want you to trust me in virtue of that. So if you're, I, if you're, I I, you rather than Fauci. Yeah. So, uh, so here's, here's the reason I wanted to get also is because the thing that's different about um, the there and the now is that as you go further into these, um, into this pandemic, the degree of accuracy gets narrower. So the range, the confidence interval on what the numbers are going to be do actually get narrower. There's a lot more uncertainty earlier on than as you have more and more data. Or so the law of large numbers, okay. as you will. Have, have the experts in the government who do this for a living, have they been wrong time and time again? Sure. Uh, they have. Then, the, why, then, why, then should I, why should I trust you? Because as we get further into the symmetry breakers. Do you have greater we, expertise than they do? No. I don't think so. Okay. So they, they have vastly greater expertise than you. And it's not just Fauci. It's 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 the CDC. They've been wrong time and time again, but I should trust you rather than them, right? I'm not saying you should trust me rather than them. Okay, thank you. I'm just providing all good. So so now we're on record. I think we're done. I think we're done. I said we'll see maybe twenty five thousand, thirty thousand at the outermost. I don't even think that we'll, we'll see that. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'll be glad to admit it. But you're saying right now, because I want to remember this, you're saying we're going to have 60,000 people dead in the United States come come August 1st. Come August 4th. But okay. August 4th. August 4th. 4th. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. I'll remember, I'll remember that. that. Yeah. Um, okay, so then, and then that's the, okay, sure. Okay, and then we'll revisit this conversation at that time. Um, sure. sure. And those are and easy. Those, those are easy stats for us to remember. Yes. And, and if you're right, 
if you're right, I will take my crow broiled with some cheddar cheese. Well, I wouldn't ask you to do that. That's not vegan. Um, <laughs> um, and it also, um, so I've, I've ne- given you. I, I, I've yeah. never, I've never conversed with a with a with a vegan dermatologist. This is my first. I'm glad to be your first. Um, Are you also an atheist? Also- uh, we've spoken about this before. I classified myself as agno- ag- agnostic. I was the guy who was no, uh, talking to no, you about. That, that, that's, no, that's, that's absurd. No, I understand. Um, you're, in, you're, in, you're indirectly telling God. No, I, 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 under- I understand your view on this. Um, we've spoken before. Um, I was the one who was talking to you about, um, about light and the age of the universe. Do you remember that conversation? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You do, you, you do realize that agnosticism claims not to make a universal negative, but you are making a universal I, negative. I, I, I understand where you're going with this. I just wanted to talk to you about coronavirus. We can talk about agnosticism okay. at a different time. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you're so, the, you're the, so you're the first dermatologist, atheist, vegan I've ever, ever talked with. I'm good. Oh, well, thanks. Um, I, I was just wondering, um, are you basing... Okay, so a couple things. Um, I wanted to see your source um, for the figure that you mentioned of only 150 people in the United States dead with pre without I got, pre-existing. I got, I got that stat from an article from the gateway pundit. Okay. If you, if you go to the gateway pundit, I, I don't know which article it is, but if you scroll down, it's within the last day or two. Okay. Now, if you can show me that, that, that stat is wrong, I'll be, I'll be glad not to quote it again. Okay, I'll, I'm looking for it. Um, okay, only 150 Americans to date with no preexisting have died from coronavirus. I'm just, I'm just going to try tracking through where they. Yeah, and um, and if that's incorrect, I'll be more than happy to be corrected on it. Okay, cool. Makes no uh, sense to me whether I'm right or wrong. Okay, the facts are the facts. Yeah, I'm just trying to track down their source. Um, Okay, so um, I came over here. I guess we're we're done with that. So we we've got our our prognostications, and, and we'll see. Okay, so I'm saying anywhere twenty five, thirty thousand at the outermost. Okay, I don't even think we'll see that. And you say sixty thousand by August first. Okay. Yeah, August fourth. So we got so May, June, J- July. Okay, so three months to get 42,000 more deaths. That's right. Oh, and oh, by, the, by the way, what do you think of um, the um, hydroxychloro- uh, uh, hydroxychloro- hydroxychloroquine? Quine. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I always have a you plus I'm tired. What, what do you, do you think, think of this ethics? Yeah. I'm the answer is I'm I'm not really sure. I've looked at the trials. I've looked at both the uncontrolled and controlled uh, clinical trials. There's only two trials uh, to date that are available. One is a trial from. Um, one is a uh, well, they're both from really. Um, one is a trial from France, and the other one is a trial from China. Um, the trial from France. China, China, uh, China? really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I I, I agree. Um, You're gonna believe any bullshit that comes out of China? No, just to be clear, I'm not. I'm. I don't believe the. Um, I don't believe the reported numbers. If that's what you're asking me for the uh, deaths, um, what I can tell you here's what I can tell you without any because if if that's the case, there's really no randomized controlled trial except for the one in China. What I can tell you from clinical experience, I've had patients who had COVID, um, and I've they've been treated with hydroxychloroquine, and some have done better, and some have gotten worse on it. Um, and I don't know if more have gotten better than have gotten worse. And were, were, those, were those who did not get better, did they have pre-existing conditions? One of my patients um, who did not have any pre-existing condition in his forties. Yeah, he was, he was my patient um, without giving any HIPAA information away. Um, no, not an old guy, no pre-existing conditions, um, got COVID positive put on hydroxychloroquine early, got worse, really worse. Um, so I don't know. The answer is I don't know. And there's trials that are currently enrolling right now. 
Okay, so we, we, we agree on some things, we disagree on others, and we'll see August 4th. Yes, we'll see August August fourth. Uh, just okay. real quick, the the rate. It's um, I'm looking at the their sources world of meters, um, case fatality rate by comorbidity, um, and so the death rate all cases with no pre existing conditions is 0.9 percent, uh, 0.9 percent. And if we look at the U.S. death cases. Um, if that's extrapolating it to the United States, I'm assuming, unless the data came from the United States. Did it come from the United States? What, I, what, I, what, I, what I'm just wondering about is, um, is, um, is a certain percentage of the death in New York State, some of these people could, could have been dead from their pre-existing condition, and they just happened to have COVID. Oh yes, and it's simply being recorded that COVID killed them. Yeah, so a couple. So the way we're reporting works. Now, don't get me. Don't get me wrong. I I do believe that people who have serious preconditioning conditions, I think COVID pushes them over the top. But not not all of those stats of people dying who have both of those conditions are dying from COVID. But but, but the yes. government could be recording them as COVID deaths. Yeah, it it certainly can explain. Um, just to, and just to update you on this, I'm I'm trying to track down this pre-existing uh, no pre-existing conditions, and the only sources I see citing on this uh, is a source from China and another source from the WHO. I think neither of which you trust. Okay, are are you referring to the article that I referenced? Yes, in, um, correct. The Gateway Pundit. Yes, their their citation tracks down to the World Immunity article for pre-existing medical All conditions. Right, let me let me, and, let, me pull, let me pull that article. Yeah, sure. In fact, I can I can um, post it in general if you'd like. Sure, I, I found it already. So this is the um, Gateway Pundit article. Where are you posting it? General general chat. Uh, you should be posting in the atheist help line. Okay, I can post it there. This is it's on the article. It says only 150 Americans to date with no pre-existing conditions Die have from died from the coronavirus. Yes, and that and that is an extrapolation based on a, a death rate. Um, from all cases, if you follow, if you click on where they're getting this, let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me reread this again. Okay, yeah, I found, I traced it down where it comes from. It's actually a paper from China um, that they are getting that, that figure from. I, I can show you the link by link if you'd like. Um, what's the title of the article you're looking at? Yeah, the title is, From the Numbers, Only 150 Americans to Date with No Pre-Existing Conditions Have Died from the Coronavirus, or 0.9% by Jim Hoft, published April 10th, 2020, at 8, 12 yep. a.m. All right, that's, that's what I'm looking at right now on my yep. iPad. Okay. Uh, do you see the, the chart that they have? Yes. Yep. Um, and just to be clear, we, we've dismissed data from China. So if you see, the, but this data is misleading because the most recent data 
shows that 0.9% of deaths related to the coronavirus are individuals with no comorbidity, i.e. pre-existing conditions. So you see where that's a hyperlink? Hold on, I'm looking for it here. Uh, where it says the most recent data. Yep, that's, a, that's the hyperlink. So that's what they're citing. So click on that. I'm clicking on it. That should take you to a World of Meters page. Got it. I have it right now. Yep. And if you scroll down, you see a section on pre-existing medical conditions, parentheses, comorbidities. Yep. Got it. And if you see, so do you see where it says no pre-existing conditions and it's 0.9%? Yes. Okay. Um, and do you see, so there's sources for that, where that comes from. If you scroll down, you see their sources. Yep, I'm looking at it. Okay. It actually comes from source number one, the epidemiological characteristics of an outbreak of 2019 novel coronavirus disease, COVID-19, from China CCDC, February 17th, 2020. If you click on that link, you will see where it comes from. It, there's a, if you can actually control F for 0 0.9 and find it. It didn't come from the other source, source number two from the WHO. I already checked. Okay. I'm still so I would place. just like to point out, you seem to be dismissive of all data from China, but well, your claim this, here is from yeah. China, then I, then I would dismiss it. Okay. Okay, just, okay thanks. Uh, yeah. yeah as, so, as, you, as, as you said, you, as you heard me say earlier, I gave the, the quote, right? I said, if this is incorrect, I'm, I'm willing to reject it. That's what I said initially. Okay. So just to be clear, you, you are now rejecting yeah, if, that. If, that if, if this is if this if the, if this if this is coming from China, I don't want to believe anything that China is saying. Okay. Well, we can we can we've confirmed. I mean, you you have it right here. But it's that China. but that doesn't that that look it. If it's coming from China, I wouldn't want to rely that it's true, but it doesn't also mean that it's false. So, right, right. It's just that it's yeah. a claim that you would, will I'm no sure, longer make. I'm sure in short order, we're going to have the number of deaths in the U.S. from other sources, from pre-existing and non-pre-existing conditions. Sure, but in the meantime, would you would you not make that claim anymore? Um, I'm, the, the reports that I'm reading, listening on the news, that the pe people who are dying, and I'm sure you would agree with this, the people who are dying you know, in droves, like in New York State, are people who have pre-existing conditions. People with hypertension. Well, that doesn't. People who smoke. They, they're many of them are mo mostly male. They have uh, diabetes. Well, wait, wait. We'll we'll get to that. I'm and I'm going to ask you. Uh, we can get to that. Sure. But right now, because that doesn't answer my question. My question do is: you, Do you do you think do you think the majority of people are dying? Um, in the country, or even specifically in New York State, do you think the majority of those people? have serious pre-existing conditions? Yes, but I don't think it's 150. I don't know how many it is, but right, I think well, it's more well, than let's, 100. Let's, let's, let's agree to say that that's wrong. Okay, okay. So, so, no. so, okay. so, 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 okay, so just to be clear, wait, just to be clear, guys, so majority we agree that dying of COVID are people who have serious underlying medical conditions. Okay. Yes, but we, we agree that the 150, we agree that the 150 figure claim is not Substantiate if that's if that is only if that's his only source, then I would agree. That's the only that source we, that should be dogmatic. That's dogmatic the only yeah. That. That's the only that's the only source that actually claim, made that claim. There were two sources. Okay. So the right. the the article that you referenced the um the Gateway Pundit article took us to World of Meters. World of Meters had two sources. It was a report from the WHO. And the, it was a report from the epidemiology characteristics of 2019. The, only the first source from China actually made that claim. And that's what they're basing that, that claim on 150. They're basing it on an extrapolation from China data mm -hmm. to get to, yeah. from zero, yeah. to get and a 0. And, 0.9. Yeah. And here's what he says in bold print. Therefore, based upon this data, he's not, he's not saying that this is necessarily um, ipso facto um, a gold standard here. He said, based upon the data, only 150 Americans. If if this research material is true, but you've already, yeah. already you've agreed, you've already agreed that the vast majority of people that are dropping dead have serious pre-existing conditions. Sure, as is true. Um, yeah, as is true for the flu. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. As is true for many many infectious diseases. Right. Um, so know, within yeah. within a matter of but, a week or two, we could see a spike of deaths where where the morbidity rate or the fatality rate 
for the COVID could could surpass the flu in a matter of a week or two. So what? Yeah. Big but the deal. key is here here here's the key. But there are certain there are cer- certain areas where it's literally mathematically impossible for substitution to account for uh, to account for that. Because if we look at what we can do is we can look at have we seen um, a huge spike in deaths in the last two weeks? Yes. Okay. To- total deaths um, compared to the average total yeah. deaths that we would expect. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. 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 So, we, so we, yeah. could, we, could see it, we could see a change where the morbidity rate uh, is higher because of a spike of death due to, to COVID. So, so the fact that it could be somewhat more lethal than the flu because of spike of deaths, so what? It's, it's not a big deal. Oh, what do you mean? It's not a big deal. No, what it mean what it means is is that before we had the spike of death uh, deaths, right? It could have been that the uh, the COVID nineteen is not as lethal as a yearly flu for people of pre existing conditions, and then when the spike of deaths from COVID to people pre existing, it surpasses the deaths for for uh, that the the mortality rate for the flu. Okay, so what? So what? Big deal. So I mean, wouldn't it's that? Not, it's not. It's like, what are we? What are we agreeing on? What are My we? State I mean, state state drama. Drama. A week and a half ago. Okay. Okay. Right now, right. B- before we had the big spike in the deaths. Okay. So we have a big spike of chat, a spike of deaths, and the stats change. So, so what? what? Okay. So oh, I just want. Oh, that's fine. I just my want whole, to know. My whole, whole issue, issue. My whole my issue whole. is that. Um, the the biggest problem are people with pre-existing conditions. That's the big problem. Okay. Do you not have, just I just want to know, I just want to know, cause you seem to, cause here's the thing. Like I am not convinced that there's any discrepancy in flu disease substitution um, based on how cause of death reporting is done um, compared to COVID-19 deaths. I, I just wonder, do you, do you have any like reference or source for like any comparative analysis for disease substitution? If, if this can be said, the whole narrative that people are dying of COVID, uh, with COVID and not of COVID. What do you mean of or with? Um, so yeah, sure. So when I say people are dying, um, when someone says people are dying with COVID, it means that someone had a pre-existing condition and that is really what killed them and not COVID, even though yeah, they that, that's, another, that's, a, that's, a, that's another problem of the, of the, of the recording, what, what the cause of death is. Sure, but I but a couple of things with that. Um, the first, of my contention is that I don't see any reason to believe that that's any happening any differently between that and the flu. So this happens with both the flu and with COVID. So you see it all the time, and someone gets the flu, they have heart heart disease, and the flu pushes them over. Uh, the flu causes a C, whether it's a CHF exacerbation or CD. I, I agree with that. And even if it doesn't, there could be cases where it doesn't, and it's just put on the cause of death. And by cause of death, it doesn't necessarily mean that heart disease wasn't put on the cause of death. Yeah, just remember, just, yeah. you said 60,000 deaths by August 4th. Yes, correct. I'm, I'm going to remember that. Sure. I, I hope you do. Um, I hope we have a chance to, in fact, uh, I think I'm your friends with you already. Let me send you a friend request. Yeah, I mean, look, and just to be clear, I, I'll be happy to be wrong. Like if I'm wrong, I'll I'll be happy to. Um, I hope I'm I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Um, sixty thousand, just uh, for the people in chat, sixty thousand is by August fourth. Sixty sixty thousand or more. Um, COVID deaths, and you're saying thirty thousand or less, not more than thirty thousand, is what you said. I don't think we'll even see that. Okay. I, yeah. I, I personally, in my pompous opinion, I think we, we, we've seen the spike. Yeah. I mean, I can give you my reasoning for why I think that we still would. Um, so even if it's true that we see the spike, um, it doesn't, it's not a symmetrical up spike and down spike. So, you're not going to see if you look at the, if you graph the rate of death over time, you, what you don't see in pandemics, you don't see an up spike, you don't see it go up and then go down as quickly as it go up. So it's not going to be time symmetric. So you're not going to, you can't just go, if we already hit the spike, you're not going to just go 18,000 multiplied by two and that gives you your total deaths. But you know what's funny about this whole discussion? What's funny? 
is that you be, you believe in you know um are we going trace up no, you believe that there's continuity that you can appeal to as an agnostic. I knew we were going free stuff. Okay, so we can oh, we can that. talk about that. We, yeah. uh, sure, we we can talk about that. Right now, let's stick let's stick to COVID. Um, let's it's for the sake of the argument. Well, I'll just do the same thing we did before. For the sake of the argument, I'm a Christian. I accept um, I accept the Bible, and You're you know I, well, I have a foundation. Well that's, well, that's, well, that's that's not true. Yeah, but we're for the sake of the conversation, we're we're having the conversation as if it were. Um, anyway, the the issue is it's not a symmetrical up spike and down spike. So it's what you're not going to be able to do, is, Darth. You're not going to be able to take eighteen thousand seven hundred forty-seven and multiply it by two to get thirty-seven thousand. Even if even if you were to do that, you would get more than what you said, which is thirty thousand. By the way, but you can't do even that wouldn't work because the tail oh, oh. curve the tail is a yeah. long end curve here here's here's my attitude as a non-medical professional but somebody who has a brain we've had repeated gross exaggerations right uh by the news media we've had uh, you know f you know um doomsday scenarios um we've had the government uh the cdc at the outset say this is going to be trivial then they say millions of deaths so you know what i i, I don't trust them okay they, they their prognostications have been wrong time and time and time and time again can you why do you think you came to thirty thousand? i just want to know like what what brought you to say no more than thirty thousand? did you have I, any like analysis i, I, or I personally no i look look I, I think it's very clear that i'm not sitting pouring over medical data left and right like like fauci is at the cdc i'm just going based upon the articles that i read what i listen to on the news it's my opinion as a layman that what we've seen is is the the spike okay and then the the death rate is going to decline here on out through the through, through the rest of the uh the spring and the summer and you think based on, on that, it follows that we'll see no more than 30,000 total deaths in the United I States? Don't, I, don't, I don't think we'll see more than 30,000. Okay. And we don't, you, don't have, um, you don't have an analysis or any source for that, as you just said. You have, I, just, have, I, have, I, have I made, it, have I made, made a claim? claim? No, no, you I haven't. I was just wondering. You know, yeah. No, I was just I was speaking to my, my biased bias. opinion as a layman. Okay. Okay, cool. So if no more than... If no more than um, 30,000, you are correct by August 4th. If more than 30,000, but less than 60,000, neither of us are correct. If approximately, if, if 60,000 or greater, um, then um, if 60,000 or greater. I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking here at a chart on the Google page, New York 13,000. Wait, but just real quick. Um, hold, hold, hold on a second. Yeah, sure. Hey, New York, okay, 13,000. Okay, then we have New Jersey, ninety-two, Michigan five, Massachusetts four thousand, California. Wait, what, what are you looking at, Darius? What chart? No, I, I, I'm looking. No, I'm looking at the wrong th th thing. I'm looking. Okay. At, I should be looking at deaths. I'm looking at the wrong column. Okay, New York. I, I can give you deaths. New York seven thousand eight hundred forty-four. Right. New Jersey, Jersey one thousand nine hundred seventeen hundred. Michigan, Massachusetts. Okay, look. So the majority, the overwhelming majority of deaths, is. The epicenter is New York State and probably New York City. Now, those numbers, sure. death, those, yeah. those number of deaths are not spread out through the entire state. It's it's epicenter is New York City. Specifically, the would you agree with that? The parts of New York City around Manhattan, not in Manhattan, but sure. Yeah, right. So yeah. we're 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 seeing. So if we take a look at eighteen thousand deaths, so we so. Out of the 18,000, 7,000 has been in the epicenter of New York. That That's a huge chunk. Of yeah, the, but that wouldn't, death, yeah, yeah, sure. But even if you assume a, an, a, a down spike and an up spike um, for either, every one of these states and just summate them, you would still you, get more you, than 30,000. Do you, do, you, do you see that we're going to have the um, the stats, the, the, num the number of daily deaths keep on going up and up and up and up in New York State? No, but I think that you would get. It's pretty clear that you'd get over thirty thousand, even if that yeah. weren't the case. Now, why do you and why why do you think we have such a huge amount of people? Look, look at the, uh, look at on the chart here on that Google page. Okay, we have um, the popul the population uh, 
uh, of New York State. I don't know if it's that much larger than than New Jersey. Okay, and New Jersey is even more densely populated per square mile than the people in New York. Okay, and yet we we have six thousand more deaths in New York than in Jersey. Why do you think that is? Um, what, 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 could, what, what, what could explain that? Yeah, no, I think there's um, there's a lot of geographic issues that would explain that. The population density in New York has any, uh, city has, has anything to do with Chinese tourists and immigrants. In terms of the initial spread, I think the initial bringing of COVID to this country was clearly from a Chinese immigrant, or a, a, it may not be an immigrant. It may be. It may be. Wait, hold on. Let me just finish really quickly. I mean, this is. Wait, wait. Let me just let me just finish my thought. Um, to answer your question, I think it was from either an American coming back from China or a Chinese uh, immigrant coming from the initial spread. I don't know if it's because of once that happens. I don't. I don't. I, and I haven't seen any evidence to think it was because of Chinese tourism within the country that's been happening already that's not from china unless you're talking about ongoing chinese um, look at this yeah, go ahead. new york seven thousand dead new jersey 1700 michigan 1200 massachusetts uh 599 pennsylvania 400 i'm gonna round these numbers up by the way pennsylvania 400 i mean the the numbers of deaths are trivial in all these other states with the exception of um Texas, Massachusetts. Uh, excuse me, I, I looked at the wrong number there. No, no, no. Texas is also trivial. Yeah. No, hold on. No, hold on. Just, no I, I, I looked at the wrong column for a second here. Okay, so that was my mistake. The number of deaths in other states are trivial uh, in comparison to the number of deaths in um, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and New York. New York. New York. Yeah, is, but is even vast. vast uh, the New York, New York but sure. for the, the greatest uh, plurality of deaths. But Darth, I just I just still don't understand why you're coming to 30,000, even if all of that is true. Like if I were to... I already answered. I, were, I said because I believe that because the majority of deaths, okay, the greatest plurality is in New York City. And I believe that's due to the geographical conditions and the the ethnic population of Chinese that, that are centered there. Okay. And now we've seen a pretty much a tapering off of the, of the deaths in New York city. They're starting to taper off and they're starting to decline. Okay. okay. So the vast majority, the greatest plurality is, is New York state, not anywhere else. That's why. I well, it's that. not. It's not the. It's the. No, it's a no. Yeah. It's the. It's. It's, it's a but plurality, not a majority. Well, just to be clear. Sure. Just to be. Just to be clear. It's. It's a plurality. It's not a majority. That, well, that's why I said plurality. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. The so even if that's true though, so let's take that to be true. Okay, well, um, why are we, why I, are I we still, having why are we having the plurality of deaths in New York? Why is that? We, we can have that conversation. I just want to know is before it, we is have it that because conversation. because they're all leftist Democrats? I don't think so. Before we have that conversation, it's because they're all atheists, Darth. That's what it is. God's punishing them. Um, yeah, no, there you, um, there you go. Um, <laughs> re yeah, so real, just real quick. So even if that's um, all true, we can say that we can grant that all. We could, And let's just say, and furthermore, we could grant that every single state, which, by the way, hasn't peaked yet, Let's just say every state has peaked right now. And New York peaked yesterday. Let's just say that. Even if that's true, the only way you get to 30,000 is if you think the decrease in the rate of deaths are going to be a steeper decrease than the increase in rate of deaths. Which I, I think that because I think what's going to happen is there's going to be widespread use of the hydroxychloroquine. Okay, okay. So that, that, that would account um, for it. But you realize that in every other, um, if it if it pans out, if hydroxychloroquine pans out as a very good drug, and it pans out to decrease the deaths um, um, with widespread use, then you can then you can see a sh sharper rate of decrease. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to point out one thing that there has I don't believe we've ever seen any um, widespread pandemic that has had that kind of curve to date. We every virtually every pandemic that we've seen has had a characteristic uh, where the upslope is steeper than the downslope. 
that's the only thing. It, it's it would be it would be very novel for it to be the other way around. Well, we'll see. Do you, we'll see do you, August do, 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 is there a reason why you're confident in hydroxychloroquine um, being as effect, being that effective? Well, because of all the uh, news articles re, 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 reporting the successes of people being treated. Okay. Do you think that they, these might just be, you know, maybe they're just anecdotes and that maybe they're not reporting the cases where they treated it and it didn't work uh, out so is well? Is that possible? Yes. Do I think that's a case? No. Okay, so it's not it's not based on any data, as you've said. It's based on the news ar news articles reporting successful treatment. No, I told you I'm 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 not approaching this because I'm a researcher. I'm, this is my opinion as a layman. Okay, and, and given 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 the fact that the the people who are quote unquote the experts have been wrong time and time again on all of their prognostications. So it's it's based on the anecdotal news reports, as you, as you said. Um, it's based upon reading a number of articles about how many doctors have had so many patients um, improving who, who were very severely sick. And when they got it, they started improving within a very short period of time. Right. Those that that's but, what an anecdote but I, but is. I'll, but, I'll, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. Um, at least I don't have egg on my face like the CDC does and Fauci with their their nonstop fail prognostications. Okay, um, so I'll just point out that, that when what you've described is all those different things. Those are different. You're, you said you're in New York. Who's, who's, who's your, your congressman? congressman? Yeah. Um, why does that? What's the relevance of that? I just want to know who your congressman was. I mean, I take yeah, it you're okay. here in, you know, Manhattan. I mean, I'm, I'm not looking for personal information. Yeah, sure. Um, I, but I just want to see what yeah. the relevance of that yeah, because is. Because I, I, without I, well, I'll tell you why. Because a lot of the congressmen from New York City were a part of the uh, in, impeachment push, uh, where as we could have shut the borders off if Trump wasn't being. Um, distracted by these unconstitutional impeachment attempts. Okay. Sure. So New York's fourth congressional district would be Kathleen Rice. Wow. Say that again. Kathleen Rice from New York's okay. fourth congressional okay. district. I take it she's a Democrat. Uh, you'd be correct. She's a Democrat. Yeah. Just be glad it's not AOC. No, it's not AOC. Um, okay. So just to be clear that what you've described that that is um, those are anecdotal. The, the news reports would be anecdotal. They're not in the context of the study, as you've said. So I, I'm it's not, based I'm on the anecdote. Not, that, uh, yeah, and I'm not making any claim to scientific expertise. Never have. Okay. But do you, you think that your projection? Do you think your projections would be more accurate um, than what pe than what the experts are saying now because they've been wrong before? I, I think that they, they've, they've, they've shifted from trivializing it to fear-mongering. And because I tend to be more optimistic about that stuff, that's why I come to those conclusions. Yeah, okay. Um, one of the things I'll also add is that the death rate um, does depend on how we behave. As I'm sure you know, the, the total sure. deaths that we're going to end up with, um, it's not set in stone just because of the intrinsic functions of the virus. It, it really does depend on how we operate. Um, I, I don't take, think you'll look disagree with um, I was I watched one guy on a videotape. He, that's all he deals with is coronavirus patients. And in the, the, I forget what the doctor's name was. He said, it was his, it's his view. He said, if, you, if, you're, if you're a hand-washing wa washing Nazi and don't touch your face, he said, you have a 99% certainty of not getting it. Okay, I would like to see where he's getting that from. And the reason I, reason I say that um, is because um, that's, a, that's a statement from, I mean, without pointing out that that's a statement from authority, um, I'm not accusing of appealing to authority. He didn't say it was true because of now, that. Don't get me wrong. I, I perfectly agree with, with the, uh, the protocol wearing face masks just to be on the same side. Yeah, because it, it can't hurt. It's, a, it's, it's the cheapest way of uh, yeah because the, the thing is I, I just wanted to point out like 
just because you wash your hands and don't touch your face, um, the droplets that are in the air can linger for up to three hours um, that coronavirus is in. Yeah, I, I understand yeah. that. But so I'm I don't know how it gets to 99. Actually, well, he's somebody who deals with it on the front lines. Okay? Well, that's just an appeal to authority. I mean, I, I, I'm presenting, I'm, I'm giving you reasons and you've given me... No, that, that's, that's not that's not the fallacy of appeal to authority. That's somebody who is directly in his field. You then, then, if, that, if, he's, if that's in a guilty of appeal to authority, then you're guilty of committing an appeal to authority when you claim that, you know, because you're a doctor and you're used to doing studies and things like that. Well, that's an appeal to authority. Well, no, I didn't say, so I didn't say that, um, just to be clear, my claim is not that I, any proposition that I'm making is correct in virtue of my expertise. I'm saying that I'm just giving you this information just so. No, you're saying that you're an authority because of your background. Um, in um, data, evaluating. Yeah, but that's, data, okay? but I'm not saying, well, but here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying that you should trust my evaluation of data because of that. I'm just saying that it, it happens. Well, the reason that that whole conversation started is because you started asking me questions about, to be honest, you started asking me questions Listen, about my authority. I, wa I watched the guy. The guy's not saying you shouldn't wear face masks. He said he felt that the, the number one transmission source is not the air, but touch, people getting it on their hands, touching their face. It wasn't. It wasn't to 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 ridiculing the idea that it can be potentially uh, transmitted through the air. I certainly agree with that. I just don't see how that's one percent, though. I just would like maybe it is. I'd like to see a some some analysis on that rather I'm than just, just opinion. somebody who that's all his patients are, are COVID patients. Right, but that that would be anecdotal. Then that would, yeah. I mean, I, I don't, and, and also he doesn't, I, I don't no, even nobody, know if he did, listen, did he do no, an Of course it's anecdotal. Nobody's claiming that there's a, a widespread study that's been done. Okay. So there's, okay, fine. Then, course, then if it was stuff. just, then if you, okay, fine. So and, and, yeah, that's and, fine. And if you, if you're same, just saying, same, if you, same yeah. thing with Fauci. By the way, who is, who is this person? Who is this person you who said what? 99? I don't, like, I don't remember what his name was. <clears throat> it was on one of the news sites that they had the video. I forget his name. I didn't bother to bookmark or anything like that do you remember which news site it was uh, no i don't it it, it it could have been breitbart could have been gateway pundit it could have been daily wire could have been the daily caller i'm just trying to look it up right now um right. well well so we'll see august 4th Okay. And okay. Two things. So two things we, we agreed on. Um, so we agreed on seeing on August 4th and we also agreed that you will stop making the claim about 150, uh, that the, the deaths for people who have no preexisting conditions are 150 because we've established that that data came from China. Well, I don't, I, no, I don't know that that's, that's not true, but what, no, I that's not what I said. I, I didn't say it's not, I didn't say you were, you're going to say it's not true. I said, you're going to stop claiming that it is the case. Oh, I, I think it is the case that the overwhelming majority of people who are dying have pre-existing conditions. But that's a different proposition. That that's a different proposition. The proposition okay, so specifically, we, so we, yeah. We have, a stat, we have a stat of a questionable source, but the stat is at least consistent with a, a general principle that you and I would agree on. Sure, but you agree that, uh, but again, with respect to the proposition, even if it is consistent, like you could, 149 is also consistent, 100 and. Yeah. So uh, the bottom line is, is yeah, but the but the most important thing is we agree the vast majority of people who are dying, especially in New York State. Sure, we, we, I agree with that for vast that the vast majority I think of 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 infections. Um, but but the thing is, just real quick, just so we but we agree that you're not going to claim um a hundred and the hundred and fifty number anymore. As no, and you're not going to posit I, that. I, as, I, 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 okay. No, good. but I will I will continue to cite um, what is wi widely known. That the vast majority of people, you know, have you know, you have hypertension, heart disease, diabetes, they're immune compromised. You know. Sure, all, no one, no one, things. no one disagrees with that. Yeah, that I don't think anyone's going to disagree with you on that. Um, the hundred, yeah. So we just agree that you'll stop doing one hundred fifty-one from the China data. Okay, cool. And then we'll see on I August. Have, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with that. All right, cool. And then we'll see on August fourth or earlier, depending on what the numbers are. Oh, absolutely. Um, just, absolutely. You know, yeah. You know. yeah. Um, I just, so I will, so the times I will, um, the times I will um, contact you. Um, well, 
No, do you I'll want to talk around. about? Um, you don't have to contact me. I'll be around. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, cool. Um, do you want? Do you think um, containment measures are effective in uh, preventing loss of life? Um. <clears throat> What time, What kind of containment measure? Like, um, like telling people to avoid unnecessary travel, uh, staying at home whenever possible, um, not closing the schools down, not going, um, not uh, trying to work working remotely uh, instead I, of working. I, I think that it's better to err on the side of caution temporarily, but I don't okay. think that. Would the we should destroy our economy over this? Okay, so you you agree that the temporary basically you would be in favor of like a temporary sort of lockdown situation? Yeah, but not not much longer than that. Okay. Going on. Oh, that surprises me. That pleasantly surprises me. I thought you would be in complete disagreement with um no with no, lockdown no, measures. No. no, I think like I think some of these lunatic pastors you see on the news holding church services. Um, I'm glad they got arrested. Okay. Oh, that I I wouldn't expect to hear. Okay. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised that that's your position. Why, 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 would, that why would that surprise you? you? Uh, no, because it seemed it just seemed like the tone that you, when I heard the clip of the video. Um, oh, dude, I, when I go to the super when I go to the su supermarket. I go to the supermarket a couple of times a week, right? I don't go there once a week because I'm scared. And when I'm there, I use the hand sanitizer. When I get home, I thoroughly wash my hands and I make sure I don't touch my face. Okay. It's not like I think that the coronavirus is trivial. Yeah. Um, okay. So what we'll see. Um, okay. So I just still want to make sure that I have, I understand you're not going anywhere. I'm not, I'm not accusing you of going anywhere, but I'll make sure that we're friends uh, just because uh, the times I'll contact you, it will either be on August 4th for this, or uh, if it passes 30,000, at which point you would be, um, you would be incorrect. And I would be either possibly correct or possibly incorrect. And if it, and if it, and if, if, and if, and if I'm wrong and it, and it, and it hits 35, 40,000 or higher, I'll eat my crow broiled with cheese. Well, don't do that. That's not vegan. Well, I'm not a vegan, so. Oh, I still have to, I understand you're not a vegan, but, you know, still, like, the less the better. Um, anyway, so I, we could, I, we could I, do that. I love, um, my, cheese, I love yeah. my cheeseburgers. Yeah. So you, st so it seems like you do think that this is a bit, um, this is a bit more um, serious than the flu based on that. I mean, you wouldn't take these measures for the flu, right? I mean, you wouldn't um, tell people. Only, that... only, only in certain geographical parameters. Okay. Um, we're not, so we're not seeing in the rest of the country the same kind of problem that we're, that we're seeing like in New York State. Gotcha. Do you think just New York City should be um, taking these measures? I think for the rest of the country where they have a, a trivial amount of counts, I, I, I think that they shouldn't be doing that. But they should be encouraging maybe social distancing, but I don't think they should be, be, be mandating it. In, in remote regions where this is not a problem. In, you, in, 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 ge in geographical areas like New York City, where it's a huge, it, it's a big problem. Yeah, sure. Okay. And encouraging social distancing, do you, um, do you, would you say the same thing for the flu for these, uh, for these regions, which don't have high death count? No, because we're, we're so accustomed to it. You know, it's just like car crashes. We don't mandate people yeah. wearing helmets. Okay. And so if we were just accustomed to the COVID deaths, if the, this just became a yearly thing, I, I, you would I, say I, I, think, I think a part of the hysteria is, 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 is because, you know, this is, this, we're not accustomed to it. People and so if we were, it. and so if we were accustomed to the COVID deaths, um, uh, we were, a, year, a couple of years from now, if we had the same stats year and year, people would just get used to it. And you would say that we should, we would just continue then. We would just because we're accustomed. No, to it. I think, I think, I think by that time we're going to, the, the treatment protocols are going to be, you know, <clears throat> well underway and efficacious. I think a year or two from now, 
they're going to, I mean, I, 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 and I think you'll probably agree a year or two from now, they'll probably have a vaccine. They'll probably have, you know, they'll pro in my view, I think, uh, that, you know, the, the hydroxychloroquine is going to be shown to be effective in large numbers. It, and if not, that's something else. This will just become just like the flu in a, in a year or two. Because it's new. But those Chinese love to eat those bats. You know, it's likely worse than that. It's oh, likely this started in the wet up, market. You're not coming through. You're lit up, but you're not coming through. You probably want to leave and re-enter Discord. Helps when my mic's plugged in. Why does Abby have a picture of a woman? Anyone want to explain that? Darth, didn't you see my picture? Yeah, I was wondering about that. I was going to ask you about that. What's the deal? We've transitioned. Oh, okay. I, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm back. Okay, sorry, I, I cut out. So, basically, w what I was saying is that we seem to be already beaten flu territory, as you said, with the 20,000, with the coronavirus deaths. We're already at 18 and change. And you seemed to be okay. You seem to be an advocate of the social distancing measures with the coronavirus, but not with the flu. Um, so then I asked you why one and not the other. And then you said, because we were used to it. And I'm, then I, my question is then, if we were used to the coronavirus deaths, um, would you say the same thing? Would you say that we should not be social distancing? Uh, eventually, people would, people would be that way because they're not so, willing to sacrifice their lifestyle and the economy for that. And you would, would you agree with that? I think the implementation of social dis distancing is because this is this is brand new, and there's a lot unknown about how far, how fast, and how widespread there's going to be deaths. Okay. The, the, yeah. flu, the flu, we have, we know a lot of parameters about it. This, we don't know. We, at least compared to the flu, we don't know as much. So yeah, I think so, and the, the, so the, if we so, don't know things, that we should err on the side of caution. But once we know, we know what what the normal outcome is going to be. Um, you know, the restrictions. They're, they're not going to have the same rules for social di distancing. People are not going to allow their lifestyles and the economy to be screwed. You know, because we have something that's similar to um, to the flu, and it's, and mostly is killing people with serious conditions. Okay, so it's just a precaution that this could turn out to be something that's way worse than the flu, basically. Oh, absolutely! Oh, absolutely. It could okay, be far okay. worse than the flu. So you it's seem, just, yeah, you uh, seem a lot uh, more open uh, to it being worse than the flu than in the well, video that I watched, and I understand the di the stats were different then. Um, you know. Yeah. But I'm also skeptical of all the doomsday scenarios by, by the news media. There's just a bunch of whores. How, how, how old are yeah. you? I'm 29. Okay. I'm going on 30, okay. unfortunately. <laughs> Since the 1970s, yeah. the, the news media has been doomsdaying everything. Anything and everything, they doomsday it. They exaggerate everything for the purposes of uh, content. And, and this, this is no different. Well, even, not, even not, with not, that, not that, yeah. not that not I'm that suggesting I'm... that this is trivial. I don't think it's trivial, but I do think that it's been widely exaggerated to be far worse than it is actually turning out to be. And we have proof of that, that the, even Fauci's, you know, prognostications have been wrong time and time and time again. And the, he's the lead man in the country. This is what he gets paid to do. This is what he's been doing for decades. And he's been wrong. Yeah. It's just that, time. it's just that even so, um, even so, I mean, look, there's a. I can go into a couple of things that can ex explain changes in prediction because if you know predictions 
look, the, the things that go into a model assumption are only as good as uh, the assumptions This is what he does for a living. He thought it would be trivial. He was totally wrong. No, I, I understand. Then, I understand. Then, then weeks ago, he was saying we were going to have potentially millions of people dead. I, I, I get it. I just, I'm, I just think that thousands of people dead. I just think that things are a lot clearer now that this is far worse than the flu because in in more okay, and more regions, maybe, we're maybe, starting maybe, to see maybe it. within the last week or so, because of the spike of deaths in New York City, maybe so. Okay. But look, so look how flu but look how fluid everything is even within one week. Sure, but it seems to be getting more fluid in one direct I mean are, are we seeing one direction spikes anywhere, spikes else anywhere else in the country? No. Sure. Um, well, and I and I sure. So 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 you've changed your view then. Not substantially, no. Only why? only a mod did why? Why why? Well, I mean, the only, the only thing that's really changed is that we've seen a spike of deaths in New York State, and especially in the southern region of New York. So, 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 so maybe, maybe, maybe the coronavirus is far more deadly in a combination of factors, and in, in, in including the geographical para parameters and the uh, uh, cultural situation that New York, which where it's where it's a hub of Chinese people coming and going from China. Okay. Whereas the rest what, of the country is not. I don't know. I mean, I've have you looked at other? Um, have you looked at the trajectory of these other states over time uh, with their deaths? Because I kind of the followed the the prognostications. No, no, the trajectory of what's already happened. Like, if you look at what's already happened to the other states in terms of where they seem to be going, so are they all these other states? The, other states they're not, they're, 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 the majority of the other states, they're they're not even here. Well, the, the point I'm trying really to make, Darth. Quickly. Here's the point I'm trying to make. Like, if you look at Pennsylvania, four hundred. Pennsylvania, four. Yeah, no, I, I get it. But if you California, five hundred dead. That's it. That's it. I I understand. California? Yes, I I get it. But the point why don't is, we have that more people dead there? Sure. There's different countries have different. Sorry, different states have different. Have different. Most of the um, other states the aren't other even states. breaking 500, and many of them aren't even breaking 100 dead from corona. Right, but if you look at if you looked at, but those numbers would be those breakpoints would be even lower if you looked at this in the past. It seems to be increasing across the board, even if some are increasing at slower rates than others. So what? So what if they're increasing? The point is the numbers are st are still still low. We're seeing the major spike is just simply N New York. And then the next highest level, okay, New York has the highest death rate, 7,000. The next highest is New Jersey with 1,700, then Michigan, 1,200, then Massachusetts, it dropped down in half, and then it drops down by 100, okay? California, 500, Louisiana, 700, Florida, 400. These numbers are trivial compared to New York. Obviously, there's something unique uh, about New York. It's not. It's not just the coronavirus itself. It's got to be other contributing factors that is causing the spread and reaching these quick, people. Uh, Arthur, real quick, you said um, Fauci. Did you say Fauci claimed that there would be a million coronavirus pe people who are dead? Like people are dead. I, I read reports that he he was he was predicting that there would be um, over a million. The only things I remember him saying, I remember him saying ten million if if we did absolutely nothing. Um, and then I don't remember him saying a million, um, 10 million. If we do you have any, million, like, do you remember, do you remember, do you have like a source or anything like saying that he said, a not that I can remember off the top of my head. All, all I know is this guy has been wrong. Oh, I've read yeah. articles about past uh, prognostications that he's made because I, I remember recently, but other, other things he's been wrong time and time and time and time. Yeah, because I remember the million was been cases. Like I'm we, U.S. could see millions of cases, and he gave a hundred thousand coronavirus deaths. He said that. Um, I don't remember him ever saying that we will see a million deaths. I, I don't think he's ever said that. He he has said they can see ten. I think he has seen ten million if, and he stipulated it if we did absolutely nothing to prevent the spread. But I don't think he yeah. said that we would I, see a million. I, 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 Given his track record, I find him completely untrustworthy. Okay. I would just, yeah. I mean, I would just look, like look, to see where he said that. I, yeah. I, it's, not, it's not that I'm 
anti-experts, okay? I'm not anti-experts, um, but experts can be dead on. They can be dead wrong. Sometimes models are very accurate. Sometimes models are, are way off. Take a look, Take a look at, at Francis. Do you ever know Francis Collins? I've heard of Francis Collins, yeah. Francis Collins used to be the head of the Human Genome Project. He's over at the, uh, is he at the NI, National Institutes of Health? I think he's, he's over, there, over now. there now. What about him? Um, he wrote in his book on DNA, he, he said that the overwhelming majority of DNA was junk. Okay. And they okay, but the let's lead, the, but, the lead scientist in, in um, mapping the genome. genome. It turns well, out I don't, let's, 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 can we just, let's, yeah, but that's, uh, we're germane to the topic at hand. Like, what do you think, well, let's get specific things. Like, what do you think Dr. Fauci was wrong about? Um, I, cause there are some things I may agree with you about, but I don't know, like, I've just found one thing that I don't agree with you about. I, I couldn't I quote you the exact, uh, the exact, uh, stats, but the articles that I've read is that he's, that he, in his career, he, he is prone to making many wrong prognostications. It's okay. Can you give me some examples of those prognostications that were wrong? Not, 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 not at the moment. Okay, he made okay. He made wild prognostications when it comes to the when AIDS came along. I'm saying, okay. why yeah. why do you? you mean, if, if you, you want to give me the actual stats, I'd have to go back to the articles. Okay, there. yeah, no, I, I actually would like I'd like to see um, some sort of reasons for the for saying that he's like just widely off on his prognostications because that's important. Like if he, if he is, I'd like to know about it. I'd like to know why you think that. Well, um, the, well, well, you you have the power of Google. No, no, I and I, but listen, I, I've, I've so far when you've when you've said these things, like I've been googling them, Darth, and I've I've been tracking down. Like when you said the one fifty thing, I I did Google and I tracked down the source and okay, I tracked fine. down the source of the source. Uh, and it see, turned out to be so China. Good. So, so like, so, okay, fine. My but my attitude was I didn't say that that stat was wrong because it came from China. I just said when when information comes from china i tend not to believe it because they have a long history of, of lying right okay but you may not believe uh, the things that, these things right. also okay. let, let, right so the, the point is it doesn't mean that it's false it means that i have less confidence in it but that doesn't change the fact that the overwhelming majority of people who get it okay they're, 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 no, they're we agreed on that. Yeah. Okay. We the agreed. The majority of people agreed. that are being hospitalized, hospitalized and are dying are people who are really sick. To begin we with agreed. But then my question is now, my question is now like, so we agree that yes, it could be true. It could be not true. Um, it's just, we have less confidence to believe it. Um, my question just be at this point is why do you, why do you have, think there's confidence to believe that Dr. Fauci has just such a strong um, track record of messing things up. If you can't provide any sources or any instances where he's completely messed up i mean you would think there would be some kind yeah, of like what you're doing, doing, what doing what you're doing is i'm generalizing based upon previous articles that i've read d days or weeks ago of stuff that is the past i'm not doing a dissertation a, a thesis or a dissertation nor nor am i a medical re researcher okay i'm giving you my opinion about what i've read okay? can you give one example that he he's made he made wild predictions about um, how far and how fast AIDS would spread. What did he say about AIDS? He said that it would spread to far greater parameters than it did. What parameter did he say it would spread to? I, I couldn't give you the exact numbers. I, I think you're being at this point a bit ridiculous. Okay. The fact I mean, that is, it's not too difficult to find that he has made prognostications in the past that turned out not to be true. Okay, I'm I'm not contending that I'm just I'm asking you for just an, an example, but okay. I uh, look, I, you, I, I just gave you an example. I just gave you an example. I I don't think you've told you've told me. Uh, how about and how about have. prognostications with with the spread of the corona? He's, he's they, what has he prognosticated with the spread of corona? That that would there would be far greater spread of it in terms of of people being hospitalized and dying from it. Has he? Because yeah. he's uh, the yeah. numbers look, I look, have. You were, look, listen, you were repeating the same stuff all over again. Okay. okay. I'm just asking you for what I, his claim I was. Want, I just generalized what his claim was. Okay. That there were. Now, you want, his you claim want, was. Do you want me to quote him verbatim right now? No, I can't quote him verbatim. Okay. Okay. Because okay. the reason I mean, look, I'm I'm not trying if to I be. That, if, I was, yeah. if I was that interested in it, I would go and research it. But it doesn't interest me that much. Okay. Can you give me like a general? 
ballpark of what his claim was. Wow, wow, you're, wow, wow, wow. You're, 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 you're just clueless, are you? I, I mean, the reason I'm doing the I reason I'm asking answer. Answer. The, the answer is you can't. Okay, I mean, the reason I'm asking no, is no, because, no, like, no, no, no. no, I can if I decided that I wanted to go Google it, but it doesn't interest me that much. All I know is that that he's he's suspect because of his his past prognostications. If it interests you that much, you can go look up his past prognostications. Okay, and just to be clear, you, you, you know such because of his past prognostications that you're that you yeah, we're, you're can't beating give me any example. You're, beating, you're okay. beating a dead horse. Okay. Okay. Being I'll, I'll, that I'll will violate you. your vegan position. I don't know. Can vegans beat dead horses? Um, you would eat a dead horse, but horse, you're beating it. So horse. okay, so so. So I think we're. I, I, look, I have no problem looking into um, the the track record of Dr. Fauci, um, because the reason I'm asking you, um, the reason I'm asking you this is because, like, with the, his COVID projections, uh, so far, based on the things he said, I don't I actually don't think they were crazy off. I I've heard the things I've heard him say were. That well, the only thing I I disagree with him on, just to be clear, I, um, when he said it was not dangerous in the beginning, I do disagree with him on that. When like, no one knew anything, um, so I I did this. Of course, I disagree with him, him that. Of course, hindsight's twenty twenty. But with the other projections, um, when he said ten million dead if we do absolutely nothing, I don't think that was unreasonable. If we did absolutely nothing, um, when he ten, said ten million, million people, if we did absolutely nothing. Which was, which you know, no country, not even Sweden, is doing absolutely nothing. Um, so the other thing is, the other thing he said was, um, a hundred, uh, around a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand, and if it comes, you know, if it comes to sixty thousand or more, like, it wouldn't even be can that you, off. Can you give me where, where where where's that stat from? Sure. Where, where that projection? You mean? No, I'm being facetious. Okay. No, I can't. No, I can. Here, I can. T I can tell you where Fauci said that. Um, I can yeah, give you the, 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 the point. Is, the point is also: have, have you have you seen the reports where when there are liberal uh, reporters going after Trump during the press conference, and he gives them the, the the signal right on when he left when he left the press room? Do you notice that? This. What do you he, mean? He did that. He did that a couple of times. The the signal. Yeah, he gave a signal like right on, good, good move to one of the one or more of the reporters that was going after Trump. Yeah, I, okay. don't, I don't trust this. I don't trust this guy. Okay. Um. Okay. I, I just, I just wish I would like to. I think, I think we're done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to be beating the dead horse. Yeah, I just, I just wish I had an example. Like you and I have made our predictions. You know, I, I said that I think we'll see less than thirty thousand. Right. Can I, I, can I ask you one more question? I don't even think we'll see. Sure, like, sure. let's say, let's say we're the, um, let's say, because we'll, you know, I, I, I can keep going on the Fauci thing, but you know, I don't want to piss you off. Um, look, we made our predictions. Um, we agreed that the 150 is, is something you're not going to, um, it, may, it could be true, but it's not something you're going to have confidence in anymore. Um, with the Fauci thing, I'm happy to look it up. We haven't, I haven't heard any examples of what he claimed that you disagree with. Um, although we can go into, we can go into the specifics um, later because uh, you don't seem to be, you know, you think, uh, look, the dead horse and everything. Um, but, and the other thing, though, just last question is, let's say politically, let's say, I just want you to imagine a, a world where this was switched, where like the Democrats were generally on the, um, bearer side of this, and the Republicans were on the bullish side of this. Um, with in terms of the death rates, like the Republicans would say that this is, you know, the Republicans were all saying, and Trump was saying, this is going to be like really, really bad, um, far worse than the flu. And the Democrats are like, oh, Trump, he doesn't know what he's talking about. This is going to be like really a nothing with nothing kind of thing. Is there, a, Trump, is there a point that you're getting to? I just want to, I just, yeah, the point I'm getting to is I just want to see if there's any kind of like political um political coloring inter infecting your um your interpretation of where you think things are going to go that that's where i'm going so the question for that is no i don't think so okay so so basically if trump were the one saying that you know this is going to be sixty thousand plus and all the democrats were saying you know this is going to be thirty thousand or less you would be like the democrats are right on here no.
This has this has my opinion has nothing to do with who's the president. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um yeah, let's see. Um oh someone wants to ask um um uh Mary wants to ask you if you wear a, a mask when you go to the supermarket. Who's Mary? Um she's someone who's in the who's in the server. Um Let's see. Is she a mod? Uh, she used to be a mod. Is she in here? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't see her in the well, room. How do, well, how do you know that Mary asked the question? Because she messaged me. Okay. Is, is this the Mary that I've dealt with with as a mod, mod here, here before? before? I I don't know. I don't know your... I don't know if you... Have, but do you... Send me... Oh, she's in the room screens. above. That's... She's in the room above, under what name? What name? Um, Miss An Miss Anthropic. Yeah, send her a message. Tell her I think she's a scumbag. Okay. She's a she's a punk sleazy scumbag. That's my answer. What what is what has she done? Um, you can ask her. Oh, okay. She's she's, she's a she's a piece of crap. All right. Well, I wish you a good Christian day or Christian night, and uh, okay. right. and I guess we'll we'll uh, keep track of the numbers and we'll uh, yeah we'll, yeah. we'll and, have a part two yeah. If if uh, if you're right, I'll gladly admit that I was wrong. Okay, because it's, right. it's and it will be through um, God's revelation that He gave me without me knowing it that I was right and you were wrong. Well, you knowing you. anything at all is is revelatory of God because of every, every fact is revelatory, right? So it would if if you if I'm right and you're wrong, it would be through God's revelation. Um. Well, if you if you know something, it ultimately is rooted in God's revelatory actions and creation, even even, right. even, even while being an atheist. Right. That's what I'm saying. So if and, I'm and right. Atheist, yeah, even Van Til talks about unbelievers can um, study the creation and come to discover certain truths and know things about the creation, even though they're in denial that it's God's creation. Yeah, right. So the so me being right and you being wrong would be ultimately rooted in God's revelation. Of course, just like just like you knowing anything would. Right. Okay. All right. Um, I'll I'll message Mary, letting um. Or know what, yeah, you, you, what you said. You, you tell her my answer is that she's a scumbag. Okay. All right. I'll tell her. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. We'll take. We'll uh, have a part two when the uh, when the rest okay. of the numbers come in. Alrighty. All right. Take care, Darth. All right. Good talking with you.